Welcome everybody to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Remake. Ooh, I'm liking this remix. Yeah! Alright, we're going blue. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling, I didn't get to read that, it was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had become had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer had held relics of the past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in. That an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins. Sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest of the legendary treasure, and the thousand year door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very... Okay, you just skipped it. Thank you. Ew, Missy, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as me touches it. Oh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on, hold it. I suppose I could try opening it. Mail call. I wonder if that was Paracarry. I don't think it was. I actually don't remember much from the first game. Uh, considering this is the Paper Mario game I've played the most. Hey bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. 
Oh, that's kind of cute. There's a uh, picture in the back right of uh, all the old teammates that I don't remember the names of. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now let's see. Here. I can't read that. <clears throat> I'm gonna read it with my fake Luigi voice, cause uh, cause Peach is not the one actually reading this out. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map, a treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I have included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Even if this was just a old game with a fresh coat of paint on it, I'm honestly fine with that. I love this game so much. A rogue's welcome. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you'd be speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. <laughs> you see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Before I read that, wow, this music has changed drastically. Yeah, this music has changed so drastically. I, I like it, but I think I like the original just a little bit more. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting for you? Is that so? Er, uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. This guy's talking to Mario as if he doesn't know who Mario is. <gasps> is that Charles Martinet still? Oh man, you can set shortcuts too? Mmm. Or wait, no, I'm sure those are probably things that come in later.
I have a hundred coins. That's pretty dope. Art gallery? Yo. Wait, that might have been in the original. <laughs> nah, that'll stay the same. Ooh. It doesn't ask you if you want to save anymore. It just automatically does it. That's a good change. Okay, I also love that instead of hearing the just the text go, uh, you actually hear like the voices over time that have been put onto some of the characters. So like the paratroopa that delivered the mail sounded like a Koopa Troopa. Mario and Luigi, well Luigi, because Mario doesn't talk in the game, but Luigi sounded like at. at which is more than and now the bomb sounds like a bomb from Mario 64 and it's just amazing oi welcome to Rogueport bit of a nasty place eh you got guts coming here you look a bit green so I have a wee bit of advice on me hit that save block to save cause the thing about life is you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket Oh my gosh, I hate Toad voice. I would do it, but it's... Uh, I already do enough cringy voices as it is. I don't need to do that again. What you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, you money? Or is she your girlfriend? Neither? Oh, Mario has a back sprite. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, come off it. I know you're a nosy book, nerds. So don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well... Now I'm doing the asking, so be a good little student and tell us what you know, right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. But, 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 boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Huff. <laughs> Out of the way, you scalabag. Move your ever-loving bones. I would keep talking to everybody, but eh. Like I'd go anywhere with smelly losers like you. <laughs> Not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? I just got here. Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb Ooh. Oh, look at that. That looks so much better. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak out of the week. Freak of the week. Jeez. Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. I will be doing jump.
sweet. You know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Oh, I tried to super guard that and I missed. You've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Got it. Yo, that baseline is dope. Super dope. You did it. You did it. Yes. And you got star points. That's what these little things are. Star points. Uh, so I will briefly explain it so I can just skip past this. Uh, basically, star points are what you need to level up. You need 100 to level up. That's it. Oh, Mario does talk. Buh, buh, buh. Okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time. Punish him. How did she get over there? Quick, this way. Phew, what a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? I feel like jump should be B. But whatever. Oh. Stop. Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Uh, crud, they bolted. I hope I never forget the voice I gave him. Wow, mister. You totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. Look at the Piantas. My name is Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, uh, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? <laughs> that looks more brutal now than it used to be. The boss in the jars. How's that taste? Oh, okay, he's not dead. He just fell to the ground. I, I'm, I wish I could have read that fast enough, but I get, I get why. Me, I already hate it here. The, there are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't for, if there weren't for some legendary treasure here. Also, there is a noose in the middle of town. I'm just saying. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? Oh my gosh. Is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Aw, oh man. I should have given her such a sassy voice. Princess Peach, what? Great hoogly googly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I need more sleep. 
If it isn't Master Mario. Oh man, the Toadsworth voice. <laughs> Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? <laughs> I can't do the voice. I'm trying, guys. I really am. Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Hmm. I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot to fuel for our ship, but you're, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. Oh, this voice, dude, I, guys, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm trying. But at this point, I feel we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. Yeah, so there's no we, Toadsworth. Come on. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in, ho ho. Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Half, I say. Oh, thank goodness it's over. Oh, my eyes are watering. I'm... Ugh. I need a second. Ha. <sighs> uh, Princess... Peach, did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is wild. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure map on her own? Or the treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella, join your party! Woo! Goombella's abilities, a primer. When you approach people or objects, you can press X. If that happens, you can press blah, 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 blah. Basically, she can tell me about people. It's Goomther. His name is Goomther the Goomber. Wait, do I have to call Goombella Goomberla? That's that's not good. No. Goomther the Goomber. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If I ever tattle on anybody, then I will not uh, do the voice. Unless I think it's just really funny.
This is Rogue Port Square, it's the center of the town, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes you'll learn interesting tidbits. Try using her ability whenever you can. I have mastered it because I've played the original multiple times. She's helpful in battle. She can head bonk. And she can tattle on them. Alright, first we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I uh, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. Oh, before I forget to mention, from here on out, if you're ever lost or confused, try pressing blah. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Oh. Oh yeah, I can't get that yet. Let's hang Mario. Oh, you actually can't jump through it anymore. Interesting. I'm looking for the guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallop for me. Oh, hey, it's Goom through the Goomber. Smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. Mouse a million. His name is Mouse a million. I love it. Hello. I know who you are, but I'm not going to spoil it yet. Okay, so in the original, I had a hard time telling if Zesty... Okay, I just spoiled it. it uh, if Zesty was a male or a female, and now I can see the lipstick, so it's very clearly female. You two, not another step. Don't you come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now. Don't. You. Dare. Move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? I know you're supposed to move, but I'm actually going to give it a sec. There we go. Idiot, you stepped on it. My poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? No, they actually don't. What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens. But you're going to pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Yeah, this is Zesty, a super skilled toad chef. And, uh, once you get the contact lens for her, uh, this game opens way up. Graffiti Corner. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Rookport. I think I'm smitten. Podly. Turf war between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos heating up, apparently. Best day indoors. <laughs> Something the matter, sir. Hey, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Wait just a moment. <laughs> Do 
Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Hmm. I'm gonna hold off. Because if I can actually get a good badge... Wait, where is the badge shop? Oh, it's up top. Yeah, I think that's... I think his name is Fabio? I got Goombella stuck. Come on. Oh, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef? Pal. Yeah, I'm talking to you. The guy bumps into you and just runs off like that. Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. Yeah, and he took my money, so guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get it back. Oh, people react to that. That's fun. <laughs> hey there, my man. You look like you just received a rogue port hello. Meaning you've been robbed, am I right? Yeah, that's not a big surprise. I did see a shifty-looking guy pass through here in a rush. He scurried down that back alley if you chase after him. You might be able to say hello back. <laughs> Pretty sure he's in here. Oops. Uh, fans are meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Don't touch my wallet again. Oh. I didn't know. Oh, a star piece. There's so many more, like, reactions that you can have with stuff. Man, this is already looking to be great. However, Mario does walk a little slower, which is upsetting, but I get it. Squish? Yes. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. Goomber! He, I'm a wanted goomber. I messed it up. No! I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, good one. But then the he came down, blah, 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 blah. Also, I did miss another star piece, so I gotta get that. As long as it's still there. Goombilla does not know how to climb the stairs. Good to know. Aha! I knew there was one up here. No, instead I'll bonk you, bud. I hear Sans when Darkly talks. Star piece. Oh, oh, I don't like that. The frontal of Mario? I'm no... 
like the back sprite, whatever, but I don't have any shine sprites, so I'm not going to worry about that. I can't get through there. Uh, Gus, we're going to fight. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Robos. It's 10 coins to pass through. You try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. I can take you. You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Gus. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max t HP is 20. Attack is 3 and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough, I guess. Oh, and I'm pretty sure it's super obvious, but that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Oh, that was supposed to be a super guard. Kumbala, you... I don't have any items. Uh-oh. Oh, I figured out stylish. Oh, I messed up the timing on that one. Oh! Ooh! Ooh, that's not good! Huh, that hurt. You have no chance of beating me, trust me. So you'd better run. Yeah, if you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from your tactics menu. I think I can take him as long as he doesn't hit Mario. Like that. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. Wow. Wow! Also, I just realized he sounds the from Yoshi's Island. Breaking the fourth wall. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Even though he himself just did? I am bleeding out. Well, I think this is probably good about as any for me um, to stop for this episode. Is she going to follow me? Hey, she actually got up the stairs. Good for her. Uh, I'm going to rest up. And then... Uh, I will see you guys next time. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.